there's a great book called How to Be an Adult. One of the things he says in there, he talks about these different emotions and, and the way we deal with them versus the way we need to deal with them. And on his chapter in, about anger, he says, people, for the most part, people have, have a hard time distinguishing between anger and drama. And people aren't afraid of anger, they're afraid of drama. Most of what we see expressed is drama. Yeah. So here's drama. I'm so angry, I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to throw this chair at you, Mori Povich. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to let this baby mama, whatever. You know, that's drama. What's really interesting to me about drama is drama expressed does not dissipate. People just continue to express drama. Oh. They might say, I'm not going to stand for this anymore. I'm not going to blah, 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 blah. And yet they keep standing for it. They keep oh. doing the same things or being in the same messed up relationship or the same like business partners who yell at each other. Mm -hmm. Whereas anger is a feeling. And when I speak for my anger, like I've just done it recently, I say, I feel angry. Mm -hmm. I feel angry that you did this. I feel angry that when I said this, you said that. My belief is you're tell like you're starting to think that I am this kind of person over here, and that's hurtful. Y you need to match somebody for where they're at. So if somebody else is having drama, that you're you know like if you're say you're with a, a business partner or a client or something like that, sometimes and you have to gauge it based on how they're responding. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole other thing that I talk about where you have to resource yourself first because you can't expect to be triggered and do this well. Like you have to have your own nervous system settled and I teach people how to do that. Um, but once you have a nervous system that's settled and able, you know, you respond to somebody who's in drama and you, and you can try soothing, like, like, you know, really reflecting how they feel like, hey, I really hear that you feel upset. I really hear that you whatever. Mm -hmm. But for some people, that's actually not, they're not going to feel heard until you meet their drama. Ah. Yeah, you really feel upset. Got it. And then they can take a step back like, oh, what part of what I'm teaching people too all the time is that you need to be strategic in your communication around conflict. Mm -hmm. And you need to be able to play a different number of um, ways of being mm -hmm. to best suit the scenario that you're in because your goal in any kind of conflict scenario is to get what you want. Sure. It's not to dominate. It's not to shut somebody up. It's not to scare anybody. It's mm -hmm. to get what you want. And mm -hmm. the ways to get what you want, there's, there's a lot of different paths to that.